Good morning. I'm just making a cup of tea and I'm just, I'm going to be um, on a call today, now, an international business call. Well, it's with Wizard, um, who's the silk producer, the airy silk producer from uh, Northeast India, Meghalaya, Meghalaya. I keep thinking I'm saying the name wrong, but when I read it, it looks like Meghalaya. Anyway, cat that hasn't gone outside for a few days because he's been peeing blood. So we're trying to just keep an eye on him. So I just got off a call from, I've, I've been so educated, <laughs> from MuseArt. I keep pronouncing it, I pronounced it wrong this whole time. How embarrassing, I'm sorry, Miranda. <laughs> so it's MuseArt and they're from Meghalaya in India. I had to write it down. <laughs> so um, they approached me with a really interesting collaboration um, to release their new yarn. It sounds beautiful. It's a fingering weight yarn. It's kind of slubby with a bit of texture because it's all about texture. Um, so it's currently being dyed in the village at the moment. And they sh um, Miranda was saying they should have it in the next couple of weeks. So um, yeah. Oh, it's so exciting. So I'm filming a podcast today and Miranda's sending me over some details. And um, oh, it's just lovely. They've got some really strange stuff happening at the moment um politically over there oh it's politically politic madness everywhere isn't it but um yeah so i'm gonna do a little bit of work i've got some weaving to do and i'm going to think about what we need to do uh i need to write up my show notes i've got lots to talk about and i want to do eat my breakfast <laughs> i have a cup of i have a cup of tea but i kind of fancy a cup of coffee I've gotten fancy. We need to go shopping as well today. What you doing? What's up? You stuck? <laughs> hey, what are you doing in there? Hello? Hello? Where do you start when you're overwhelmed with stuff that you need to do and you've got one day to do it and then suddenly it's the middle of the night and you've not done anything that day? I'm waiting until 10 o'clock to ring the vet to just check. They'll probably say bring him in, but... I wonder is it because he's stressed that he's not been outside but he did start doing it when he was going outside Do you know like it was quite bad two days ago and now it's 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 a lot better than it was he's drinking a lot more we have him inside but um i'm just a bit like mm. cat arse arse of cat toast toasty not interested. Beans' is turn. He doesn't fit underneath anymore, so he likes to sit on top of it. And then ruin my tension! Ruin my tension! I'm looking at you, Beans. He's been screaming all night. What's wrong with you, Beans? There's a kitten in there, and we're going to the vet. We're going to the vet. <sighs> what have I done all day? 
Okay, so um, I have been I've been meaning to film the podcast all day. It's half four now, and I've been meaning to film since ten o'clock this morning. But anyway, it's fine. Um, I've got some footage through uh, that I want to include, so it's good, so I can film now around that footage, which is really nice. I also need to. Um, Anyway, no, what I have done, let's focus on what I have done so that I would need to do. I've also released the tickets for the two retreats, Babel's Easter retreat, the 10th to the 13th of April, 2020, and the Babel's June retreat, 5th to the 8th of June, 2020. Almost all full. Um, there are only a few rooms, only a few beds left in um, a triple room, in like a family room. Um, yes oh my god they just they just go so quick anyway and then i've also got ooh, two tickets sold to uh mina's class i've just opened that as well um so yeah so mina philip is having a is coming over she is co-hosting the easter retreat with me next year and um she is also teaching a class she's teaching her pattern hacking class i was looking at all of her classes and i was like ooh, but um we might see if um, if there's interest in a few of her other classes as well um while she's there <laughs> I don't know there's a there's she does this really interesting marling class and she said she came up with like seven different ways of how to marl yarn it's so I'm so interested in it so um yeah we might think about doing that as well I'm I don't know I'm kind of thinking about things I'm thinking about things I'm talking them out on the vlog there's so many ideas and so many cool people in this world why are they all so cool <sighs> yes so um I am um, So yeah, so on the Saturday, let me just, let me hold back. So Saturday, the 11th of April, Mina is coming over to um, spend the spend the weekend with us. And she's teaching a class at like 10 a.m. in Bally Class just after breakfast. And then we're having the, the yarn um, sale afterwards. Um, the class is... Um, going to be held in the coach house and then the marketplace is going to be held in the actual pub like we had it the second time this time so um yeah i'm just really interested because it's all about how the, the class is all about how to say you've got this lovely pattern that you want to knit but you bought the wrong yarn hello i've done that so many times or you've got yarn and stash and you want to use it but it's not quite exactly perfect say it's worsted weight instead of iron weight or say it's um you want to try and use fingering weight and you want to double it but it's the dk weight pattern you know sort of like expanding your knowledge of knitting how to adjust things how to fix things so yeah the tickets are live now on my website which is www.babblestravelingyarns.com if you want to come down take a class and join us for the day uh you're more than welcome i'd be really excited to see you and yeah it's going to be great and it's lovely to have me over as well so that's nice too so um yeah great so yes great so yes <sighs> <sighs> and I've gotten a couple of messages from people saying they missed out on tickets that they wanted but like there's literally only there's not that many rooms in the house I'm sorry I can't like I can't give everybody what they want I'm so sorry I wish I could but we are in talks with a couple of other places around and um I need to get back to them on Monday and see what we can do for people um, to see if we can get a few more people some space some space because I think I understand that you don't want to like there's a um, there's a sharing room at the moment so you there's uh, three room three beds in one room and I've had people sharing that one before and it's lovely um, it's a really nice room actually um, but I understand that people don't necessarily want to share a room I get that I get that but sometimes if you want to be in the action that's kind of what you got to do <laughs> we are trying to organize we're going to organize a minibus in between other the other hotels as well um to see uh, to try and make it a little bit easier on people you know if you want to have a drink or something you don't want to be driving um and things like that so 
Yeah, but you would be included, like you would pick you up at about nine o'clock in the morning, come over, you'd have breakfast, you'd have lunch, you'd have dinner, um, you'd come and chill out all day. It'd be exactly like being in on the retreat, just you're not sleeping there. Um, so yeah, yeah. And we'd be quite flexible, everything's a little bit flexible. Um, so yeah, if you want to have a little look around and book yourself, you're more than welcome to. There are a couple of B&Bs around the place. Um, so just look around Aherlow, have a look where, where Ballyglass is and see if you can find a hotel room around there. And we can try and arrange something, get in contact with me and uh, yeah. Did you hop into my hot, hot podcasting seat the second I got out of it? Oh, don't you look away from me. Don't look away from me. Oh, such a cute little nose, though. Boop, boop, boop. And then I have another cat somewhere. Boop. Hi. Hello. Hello, my lovely baby. Mm. So, um, right. I've, okay, what else have I done? <laughs> this is probably not going to go up, to be honest. I should probably stop. But, hey, -ho, I don't want to miss a day. Um... I am literally, it is, what time is it? It's quarter past nine. Yeah, quarter past nine at night. I have just taken it upon myself now to write up some notes for my class tomorrow for the students. And I don't know what I'm doing. So, but this is a good way to clear my head about what I'm going to be doing tomorrow. So there's that. There's a cat over there. I'm listening to Best Relaxing Christmas Music 2019 with a fireplace 24-7, which is perfect. It's lovely. Remember took a flash photo of me without my permission. Is that GDPR breach? <laughs> Anyway, I oh, I've just finished. <sighs> it's a busy day, actually. Podcast day and admin day and everything else day. So I didn't manage to get everything done. I didn't manage to film the prize winners video. I'm sorry, but I just, I've actually been filming, editing, um, writing, prepping, all day like we had I threw on chips like they were fancy chips <laughs> and vegan fish cakes and I was like oh I need more vegetables so we just did peas and carrots like the most basic coming home after school child's dinner you've ever seen oh god anyway and um um yeah so And everything I've written up my class materials for um, the class tomorrow and that is done now for any other weaving class that I want to do so that's great I always tend to do my best work literally like a minute before the deadline like if I have three hours left I'm like mm. I'll be like one hour left Fool. but I have a car full of petrol I've packed the car I've found a bag that fits my hoot loom in perfectly and it's got Harry Potter on the front oh my goodness so what I might do is I've kind of taken to editing the daily vlog as a kind of a wind down for the day which is nice but and I feel like it, the day's not finished until it's uploaded so but it is 20 past 11 and I do have a really big day tomorrow. So I think I'm going to sacrifice a day of Vlogmas. I mean, a podcast is uploading. You're going to be fine. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you'll survive. <laughs> if you don't, let me know. Tragedy. Um, yeah, so I've got... Big day tomorrow. I'm going to be driving a lot. I really want to get a, a thing for my car. 
to be able to film hands free on the on the motorway because some of the landscapes around here are beautiful and I'm often driving on my own and I don't like messing around it's illegal um so obviously I don't ever you know never and um yeah does anyone have any recommendations for one of those kind of like a car stand thing but it doesn't I, I can't have it like the one that sits in the vent I need it like that sticks to the window I think um yeah for GPS and filming <laughs> so um give me some details if you know of one of those that'd be great I hope you had a lovely Saturday, whether it's still happening for you or into Sunday now, um, because we seem to be right in the middle of the dateline, um, because I think, didn't the UK set the dateline, because they were big into that, setting the rules, so, yeah. <sighs> Good night, everybody. Oh, I don't know if I updated you on beans. And so we brought him to the vet and um, yeah, so the <laughs> bless his little heart. He has a little tray inside in the in the um, carrier case. And <laughs> when we took him out, he'd actually peed in the tray. So she was able to go and take a sample of urine, which never happens with cats. Like never <laughs> well I, I don't know if it does or not but um, yeah so she was able to get a really good diagnosis and she mentioned that he um, he had high acid or high pH so it was quite acidic um, his wee was quite acidic and there's lots of blood in it and the proteins were a bit high so she gave him an antibiotic and an anti-inflammatory and um um he's probably a cat that's pro that's going to be prone to kidney to not kidney infections but like cystitis so it's the it's the lining of the bladder so he probably will have this um it's just kind of watching out for it and keeping an eye on it making sure there's lots of water around making sure the litter trays are empty um yeah, so, but she said that it is something that could be cured with food because of the high pH. So we're going to try him on this urinary cat food, which luckily he loved, thank God, because he can be a bit picky. So ugh, I, couldn't, I can't believe I've got a picky cat. Ugh, beans. Look, he's cute. So, um, yeah, so he had the... Um, so we had the injection, the long acting something or other. I can't remember exactly what it was, but um, maybe, I don't think she gave him steroid. I don't know. I know there's one vet that watches. <laughs> she contacted me last time, which was really great. Thank you very much. Um, but um, yeah, so he's fine. He's okay. Uh, we did, she was glad that we brought him in, of course, because we paid her loads of money. She was really nice and Beans was very good peeing in the tray for a little urine sample. Like I'd be at the doctor and I'd be trying like, oh my god, I'm so dry. I've never been drier in my life. I have no nothing. And my cat just, whatever, magic. He's just wonderful. Apart from the, the whole cystitis thing. So yeah, he's okay. And he loved the food and I gave him the, I'm really good at giving cats tablets now. I'm the best. Pee. Pee. It's like a reverse Pez. <coughs> really good. Right. <laughs> so I will talk to you tomorrow. No doubt. But you might not see this till Monday. <laughs> <laughs>